Here we are folks. Hello, big hello, big hello. Yes, here we are. We're still the the 12th of November. Carrying right on from that last clip, okay? Just getting the water a little bit warmer. So, yeah, what I thought I'd do is, I haven't done this clip for about eight years, so I thought I'd do a repeat on it. Because it's, it's a very useful clip, a very useful thing um, to show you. And that is seven steps to throwing, how to throw a cylinder. Okay, and I'm just gonna make them and go through them, talk about them briefly as they go through. So basically I'm gonna break down a cylinder into seven separate stages and I'm gonna then cut them off. And I suggest maybe you're maybe you're a maybe you're a beginner. Maybe you might find this helpful. Uh, I quite often get students to actually to actually do this, you know. So getting the lump of clay attached to the wheel head, my, my small pinky finger here is is kind of making that join and I kind of just pull it up into a cone, okay, like that. Okay, that's the first stage, you'll cut him off. Okay, a cone. We're gonna put him down there on the end of this little board. Number two. So, first stage, getting it attached to the wheel, pulling the clay up. Okay, to that cone. It's where we were, where we've done already that first stage. Now I'm going to, taking my left hand, putting the, the point of the lump of clay there, and then with my right hand holding, supporting on the right, I'm going to then push that lump of clay down. I call that centering down. Okay? You can then take your thumb like that and just center it right at the, the wheel head. Okay? Number two. We'll cut them off. Alright. There he is. Put him down there. Number three. First though, number one. <laughs> number one, get him attached to the wheel head. Cone him up. Okay, now number two. Put the point there where the circle is, you see. Put your right hand there like that. Center down. Use your thumb, just clean it there. Clean away that clay. Okay, now we're gonna break in and I'm using I'm using my index finger a lot with my thumb like this. Okay, and just pushing down. Guessing the thickness of the base through the bottom of my finger, right in the middle there, you see? Are we in the picture? Maybe we'll bring it in a touch. Just a touch. All right. So you'll notice this is like a sort of V form. The shape is a V shape. Okay. Right, we'll cut him off. All right. Put him down there. Number four. Okay, when you, you throw, 
when you cut off a pot, you can throw your next lump of clay right down on that pad of clay. Don't forget that. I constantly get asked that. Oh, Simon. Or people. Can I do that? Yes, you can. So long as it's not wet and slippery, you can throw another lump of clay down. Okay? So there we go. Center down. Like that. Thumb in on the side there like that. Just to center. Okay. Now we're gonna now we're gonna break in. Like that. Now I'm going to take the clay and feed it out like that, you see? So I'm at this stage I'm forming the forming the base. Alright. Um, Okay, so that shape slightly, slightly in on the side like that. Through there, pick him up. That's number four. Number five. So going through these stages again, coning up, centering down, thumb there at the base, breaking in, and now feed that clay out to the side like that. I'm just turning my hand around a little bit so you can see a bit better. Otherwise I'd be like this and my hand might be covering what I'm trying to show you. I'm just trying to. So once you've done that and you've kind of opened it out, but paying attention to get the base flat, all right, not undulating and not as you, as you open it out, as you come further out, you dig down in. You don't want to do that. Okay, so now I just go kind of like that, you see? And I start to just cone it in like that a bit. All right. What's that number? It's number five, okay? So, of course, the secret of, of throwing is keep your pots, keep them in at the top, keep them coned in, very important. Okay, hey, we've done five. Okay, so that's what I mean. You see there's the pad of clay there. So long as it's got not wet at all, you can throw your next lump straight down on top of it. No problem. Okay. So number one, getting it attached to the wheel head and then just bring him up in a in a in a cone form like that, like that. Hand down. Thumb there. Okay. Break in first like that in a V form. Now. Feed that clay out. It's surprising how wide you can, one does at this stage, open it out, okay, when you're doing that base, doing, doing the floor. All right. And then we, we left off the last one in that conical form like that. So what I'll do with this one is I'm going to start the first move as it were towards doing an actual lift. So I, I push in from the outside. These fingers here are pushing that way. Okay? 
they're creating a lifting point you see okay and now I start to lift up the cone like that I think that's a good place just to just to stop it there so you see that sort of I want you to see that it's it's coned in at the, the top here and you've got this this lifting bulge that you because you created you created that lifting point you see all right all right and this is the last one which will become a cylinder I hope this is making sense to you. Do, do, are we in the picture? Yeah. All right, I'll show them all to you um, in a row in a minute. Okay. So, get him joined to the wheel head. When you're satisfied he's joined, then, then pull the clay up. Of course, what I'm doing is really is, pre is presupposing you know how to center a lump of clay. That's what you really need to do. Push that clay down into itself like that. Now, breaking in like that. Now going in, forming the base, widening it, widening it really out to three o'clock. You see, this is where I have my hand. Um, as you widen it, let, the, let this hand come out with it, but just keep it touching it all the time up against it, you see. Cone it in now like that. Okay, now do that first, just lift like that. And now we're going to push in from the outside like that, create that lifting point I, talk, I spoke about. Keep it wet. Now take that clay with your, your inside, you really want to have your posture like that, you see? So take note, the inside fingers here that I'm moving are higher than the outside ones, okay? They're not the same level, they're higher. So you want to maintain that, that difference like that all the way up. Okay, so pushing in, lifting it up, keeping it coned in at the top. I think that's two lifts I've done, is it? Okay, down to the bottom, into the corner, inside fingers above, and now, now I'm pulling reasonably straight up. So, what you can do is weigh up a lot of clay and have a go at doing these. And uh, try and get them absolutely straight, okay? And be be disciplined about it. All right, don't try and get them really straight. Use your throwing stick, going in at the base there like that, putting in a bevel like that. Pull back this water. Now use the side of your throwing stick, just like that, just to Clean it off. All right, leather. Sponge. Okay. Cut off wire, keep him taut down on the wheel head and just with the wheel going slowly, Push him, pull him all the way through. All right, now, 
if I did that right, if I did that right, that should be about five inches. Let's have a look. It's, it's five inches, it's actually, it's a smidgen, about a sixteenth of an inch underneath five inches, but there you are, you see. It'll, out of 12 ounces of clay, let's pull back this, pull back this camera a minute. Out of 12 ounces of clay, you should aim to pull a cylinder of five inches. If you're doing that, you're getting pretty good um, distribution of I'm just doing this because what I want to do is, is cut it in half to show you the cross section. So just stiffening it a little bit so it, it doesn't collapse, you know. So I'm taking this wire, I'm going to put it like that, cut him through. Now the moment of truth. <laughs> oh dear, Simon. <laughs> um, let's put that one over there. So I'll just push that base down a bit because it's, it's lifted up. Let's just take the camera off the tripod, show you. All right, so see what we're aiming for is is good clay distribution. We don't want it wafer thin. We want a fairly nice, even thickness uh, all the way up. The base doesn't really want to be any thicker than that. That's probably uh, that's a good eighth, possibly not quite a quarter, but. Um, All right. So these are the, hang on, let me put that. Just bring, it, bring this over here, a touch like that. Oh, I could put that one there, couldn't I? All right. That. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, he's, he's all but five inches. Yeah, if you, if you aim, if you, this is a good little exercise for you people who, this is what you should do. Forget about doing anything else, just learn how to pull cylinders because that is the great need that most amateur potters have. They, they never really talk to properly master the cylinder and then they go on to do other things and so their foundation that they laid was not really very well laid it's imagine it's you know it's like a house that you you, you laid a foundation to and you didn't really make it strong enough and deep enough uh, consequently the house later on after it was built developed cracks in, in the walls etc um, and basically the house uh, the house fell down in the end because it wasn't set up on a good foundation so likewise just uh, think about that with your with your pots that learn learn the technique of really properly mastering the cylinder and you will find then that your pots will stand the test of time hopefully and will be well made and well thrown Okay, hey, um, thanks for joining us. I know it's a little bit of a basic, a basic, a basic le uh, video this, but that's, that's absolutely fine. Um, I'm not ashamed to do it and make it because it's, I see it, you know, it's vital. All the people who come on my workshops, I get them to throw a 12 ounce cylinder 
and I guarantee you 80% of people are struggling to throw a cylinder. Um, so obviously there's a great need uh, amongst the potting amateur world out there to, to know how to, to learn how to throw a cylinder. So hopefully this will be some help to you. Yeah, if, if it has been of help to you, well, give me a thumbs up. I suppose I've got to go through this rigmarole of doing all those usual things. Give me a thumbs up and click this and ring. Oh yeah, click. What is it? Um, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to my videos, please subscribe. And hit the bell, that little bell symbol. Click it. And then you will get notifications uh, if you want them. If you don't want them, then don't click it. All right. Um, yeah, as I said in the last video, I've got a workshop this coming weekend. And um, yeah, I've got three people on that. This is my last workshop here, 2018. If that's something that appeals to you, or if you feel that you, you know, could do with a little extra to take you maybe through the winter for your winter practicing in your studio, then please come along, join us. I've got about three or four spaces on that workshop, so I could take three or four more. All right, folks, well, yeah, that's about it. I don't think I've got anything else to say. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm working on some other things, which I will talk about in, in the next video. Uh, making a little stamp or a seal to go on the side of a uh, some of those um, those beakers, those tumblers that I was making. Uh, you saw me make um, so these guys. Remember, I'm wanting. I'm doing a seal that I want to put on the side here. So I'm in the process of doing that. Okay, folks. Hey, thanks for joining us. Keep practicing. I'll see you soon. Dee, 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 dee. Dee, dee, dee.